Okay, Austin, thanks for jumping on. Appreciate it. Um, and um, are you ready for questions, Austin? Yep, okay, you can hear me okay? Great. Serious. Perfect. No problem. Um, Brian Christofferson, 24-7 Sports. Hey, Austin, could you just tell me what your expectations are for the uh, the tight end room, you know, going in this season with the experience you have back and some exciting young guys also joining? Yeah. Um, like you said, we're a very experienced room. Uh, I expect a lot of great things out of the tight end room. Uh, I think um, along the team, team-wise, we, we bring probably the most experience. Um, and that, that goes hand in hand with uh, being able to lead. Um, the leadership comes with experience. And when we know what we're doing with experience, um, it allows us to take care of the, take care of the young guys. Cause we do have some new guys in the room um, that obviously are unfamiliar with how things roll around here. And um, we'll get them right. Uh, just because guys like Travis, Kurt and I have a, have a good understanding of what we, what we want to get, get accomplished here. Now, I mean, obviously, uh, Fedone came in with a lot of recruiting hype. You you see all that stuff. But what, what have you seen out of him just now that he's one of the guys and in the program and it kind of taking him – do you put him under your wing and kind of try to help him out? Yeah, I mean, with all those guys, all the young guys, whether you're a receiver or a lineman, um, we try to take you under our wing. Uh, but something I noticed about uh, Thomas, he, he's, he's learning really fast. Um, he picked up the playbook really well, and I get texts at 1030 at night asking about mid-zone. Um, so he's, he's eager to learn. He's eager to get out there. I know that I think he'll do great things, but any young guys across the board, you, you really got to take them under your wing, especially as a senior. Thanks. Austin. Yep. Parker Gabriel, journal star. Austin, I know you're just getting going and, and practice starts for real tomorrow. Does it so far, does it feel a little bit more like normal? I mean, obviously not much that you guys have done the past year has been normal. So do, do you feel get a sense that you're getting back into a little bit more of a, a quote unquote normal rhythm? Yeah. Um, I think the staff and the, these trainers have, have done a really good job to make everything feel as normal um, for us. Um, once we get into the stadium, I, I, I get a real normal vibe. There's not, um, it's, it's, it's pretty controlled, um, which is good because we essentially created our own bubble and we can just hang out with the guys and be ourselves um, and not necessarily worry about, um, all the outside confusion and everything. So, um, yeah, I'd say the sense of normalcy is, is, is well back. And hopefully the spring ball is like it was two years ago um, when things were fine and dandy, so to say. Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Austin, uh, what kind of jump can this receiver tight end group make this year when you just look at the – parts that are there and the potential and then obviously what you return um what, what kind of jump can you guys make i think the the opportunities there um especially because of the amount of work that we've been able to put in um by ourselves and meeting with the coaches uh this off season obviously the coaches weren't able to get out on the road and recruit so that allowed us to have a little more time with them allowed us to understand what we we're going to get accomplished as an offense in the passing game so hopefully with a couple new more or more guys and some returners from last year um, will be able to get accomplished what we wanted to get accomplished in the passing game uh, last year or two. Um, but I'm looking forward to what we can do as an offense as a whole in the past game run game um, with new guys stepping up into, into new roles. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get, like I said, what we want to accomplish done. Uh, Journal star, Steve Sipple. Hello, Austin. <laughs> Um, a lot of talk today about um, returning talent on the defensive side of the ball. How how much does that help development on your side? I mean, what's take us into practice. What will it be like? How intense? Yeah, so the defense always brings an intensity. They always – it's always a competition. Whatever they do, whatever we do in practice, whether it be the smallest um, individual drill, they're making a competition out of it, which is great. Um, and with those – super seniors, so, so to say, coming back. Um, they know the intensity that practice needs to be at, um, which is great because they can show these young guys, new guys, how it's been rolling around here, um, what we want to get accomplished for, what we want to get, to get accomplished in practice for um, like the last three years. And 
how do I want to word that? I worded that wrong. But uh, they know what to expect um, out of Frost, and they can show these new guys what they want to get done. Sorry, how much? That, no, you're fine. You're fine, Austin. Is switching gears a little bit to special teams. How much of how much discussion is there about it among the players getting that part right, getting that part better, and the importance of that part? Do you guys talk about it much? Yeah. So we've been able to meet a couple times here um, recently about our, what we're going to get accomplished as a special teams, um, as as a team in special teams. And what I know is different about this this spring. It's more business like we because special teams is one of Frost's three way to three keys to victory. Um, you win on special teams, you you put yourself in a great chance to to win the football game, um, whether it be turnovers, field position battle, um, and the emphasis that it, so far that special special teams has been in the spring is um, very promising in my eyes. Uh, improvement from what we saw last year, um, and like I said, it, it's 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 a very business like feel for what we want to get accomplished. Thank you. Uh, two more for Austin, Sam McEwen, Omar World Herald. Yeah, Austin, <clears throat> well, you know, a couple of senior captains moved on. So I got to think that being a captain is something that's part of your goal set this year, right? Absolutely. Um, it's for sure something I want to strive for. Uh, being an in-state kid, it, it, it means a lot to have your name uh, up on that board in that hallway in the stadium. Uh, it would It would be a good – it'd be a good piece to top off to show all the people that helped me along the way to get me to where I am, whether that be high school or college. Um, it'd be a good thing to turn because a lot of stuff that, that's happened to me in my life is, is a thanks to them. And so uh, I think getting the accomplishment of captain is just, is just a hat off to all of it, that if it was to happen, but that is my goal for this season is to try and get a, become a captain. How do you develop that trust among your, among your teammates, your their belief in you because they're the ones who pick. Mm -hmm. That's it's the way I, I come to practice every day. It's the way um, it's really the way I've built, tried to build my tight end, the tight end room in the last three years. Um, it's already been happening. They've, they've seen how I work in the tight end room. They've seen how I work in the weight room, see how I work in practice. It's really something that they should already see, um, yeah. but it's something I need to, I need to continue to take into practice uh, coming up in this spring and in the summer. Um, I got to lead them in a way that they, they feel that I can lead this whole team as a captain. Thanks, man. And last question for today, um, Kevin Suits, Channel 10 11. <clears throat> hey, Austin, as you likely know, uh, fans will be allowed to attend the red-white scrimmage there on May 1st. Um, in retrospect, how weird was it playing last year with no fans in attendance? And then how does the prospects of having people in the crowd uh, maybe give you guys a little a bounce in your step in spring. You might, you may not notice here at the start of spring ball, but I'm guessing uh, there might be some new energy as you guys were closer to the scrimmage. Absolutely. It was, it was weird not playing with fans. Um, as you probably expect, Memorial Stadium just isn't the same. I'm very anxious to, to, to get a feel uh, what Memorial Stadium is like with fans again. Um, Cause they are really are, they're another teammate for us out there. Um, when it comes to home games and, and whatnot. And uh, it was, it was traveling to the, all these different places last year. It's kind of cool to see what kind of environment other stadiums bring. Um, and that was, that was kind of sucky for a guy like me. that enjoys um, seeing new environments, um, but fans in general, just it make college football great. And Nebraska's got one of the greatest fans in college football. So I'm really eager to get them back and I'm sure they're eager to come and enjoy um, football games again here in the state so it'll be it'll be fun to see what this spring game is about all right thanks austin for dialing in thanks everyone for jumping on i will um get some more information on uh practice coming up out to you later today or more likely in the morning just on coming over here in person so uh, look for that and we'll talk to you soon